This video is going to outline how to best create a click tag to work for an online banner ad. So I'm in my flash file and I have my banner already created. Uh, what I discovered though is the mistake I made is I didn't have the click tag layer on the top. So your click tag layer, if you turn all your other layers off, is just a button that I created and it is set to alpha zero. So it's just a transparent button and um, it's on top and the code that it has if I click on the code here and show the actions bring that over here you can see it's on release this is the code okay now it's different than the code when I click on the thing so there's two different codes that you need to make sure are in in the button to work so when you click on the button it has this code but in the timeline you click on this and it has this code so you need to make sure you have both codes in there then once you're ready to compile turn all your layers back on and make sure that your published settings have flash player 9 and action script 2 and once you have all that just click OK and you generate your flash fire file you uh, publish and then once you're published We'll go look and um, th there's a website here that can test the files. So the, it's this website here. So I'm going to choose my file. And I want to choose a file that didn't work. This version 2 file was done incorrectly. So I'm just going to uh, show you what that looks like. So I'm going to load version 2 and submit. And then it was using. Um, the SWF version 12 which is a mistake it should be version 9 and it looks like it's working fine but if I click on it nothing happens because the click tag was below everything else so that was the mistake so I'm gonna go back and choose my newer version version 3 and see if that works So we're so, version 9, which is good, and um, I click on it, and it goes to this completion page, the congratulations page. So that tells me it's a um, correct click tag usage. So again, I'll, I'll publish the, the code here that you need, but um, you have the action code for the layer. Go to the actions again that's the action code for the layer but then when you click on the button itself you have this this code here alright 